Good day, my audience. You're welcome once again to Dr. Fred Academy. Um, in this video, we shall be looking at uh, some descriptive terms we used in sociology. Now, we need you to understand these terms because without a proper understanding of these terms, you won't be able to actually apply it in your day-to-day -day use of um, anatomical terms and description of some structures present in the body in the body of an animal. So we shall be looking at this uh, terms okay, in this video. In our subsequent videos, we shall also be uh, looking at more of them. As you can see, what we have here is part one. There are more terms, but for just this video, we will be looking at just these few terms. The first term we shall be looking at is the process. What is a process? I'll also be showing you examples from the bones I have before me here. Okay, not just telling you the meaning of this term, but I'll also be showing you examples so you can have a better understanding of what these terms are. So the first one there is a process. Okay, so what is a process? A process is a process is a projection or an outgrowth on the surface of a bone. Okay, so um, example is the spinous process okay found on the thoracic vertebrae this is a spinous process because of course this the whole of this is thoracic vertebrae okay and then on this thoracic vertebrae is the attaching to the arch of this thoracic vertebrae is the spinous process very long spinous process another example of a process is the, is the acromial process okay this is acromial process this acromion process is actually attached to the spine of the scapula. Of course, this is a scapula, and then this is a spine okay, that divides the lateral side of the scapula into two unequal parts. So, uh, on this, um, the ventral aspect of the spine of the scapula is the acromion process. Okay, let's look at the second term. The second term is uh, the trochanter. What is the trochanter? It is actually a prominence near the upper extremity of the femur. Okay? A prominence near the upper extremity of the femur. Okay, this is actually a prominence, as you can see. Okay. Okay, so this is a proximal or upper extremity of this bone, which is the femur. Okay, and on this proximal side, we have uh, three different uh, trochanter. We have the greater trochanter, we have the lesser trochanter, okay, and we also have the third trochanter or trochanter tissues. That is in equine species. Okay, so this is what trochanta means. The third term we would uh, look at is uh, the notch. What is a notch? A notch is actually an indentation at the edge of a structural surface. Okay, an indentation at the edge of a structural surface. And the example we have here is the semilunar notch. Okay, this is actually the the humerus. Sorry, this is uh, the ulna, the ulnar bone, and then this is the the radius. Okay, so on this ulnar bone, we have on the proximal extremity. Okay, of this ulnar bone is where we have the semilunar notch. Okay, the semilunar notch. Okay, let's look at the third term. The third term we have is the malleolus. Okay, what is a malleolus? A malleolus is a round or bony, bony prominence. Okay, a round or bony prominence found at the edge. Okay, at the edge is of um, the tibia. Okay, it can be in other bones as well. So this is a malleolus. Okay, this is the malleolus. Okay, holding this tibia, okay, this is the lateral side and then this is the medial aspect. Okay, so this being the lateral side, this is the lateral malleolus, while this is the medial malleolus. Okay, the medial malleolus, okay, and then the lateral malleolus. Okay, the fourth term, the fifth term, sorry, we shall be looking at is the canal. Now, what is the canal? A canal is a tubular opening or passage through a bone. 
okay okay it is a tubular opening okay or passage through a bone um, looking at this skull here um, uh, we have this canal remember i'm only using this bones as examples so here we have infraorbital uh, foramen okay which leads into the infraorbital canal okay so the, the, the canal this uh, foramen actually leads into the canal okay the infraorbital canal all right uh, we will stop here thank you for uh, watching this video don't forget to look for the part two that is a continuation of these terms in our subsequent videos click on the notification bell icon when you have subscribed to this video thank you